With TD Insurance, learn tips and information on how to prepare your home and car for winter weather. Coming up on 722 here on Breakfast Television, welcome back. He negotiated a free trade deal with the U.S. He introduced the GST. He led Canada through the end of the Cold War. Brian Mulroney, Canada's 18th Prime Minister and one of the country's greatest statesmen, has died at the age of 84. And joining us for more on his life and legacy is Canada's ambassador to the U.N. and former Ontario Premier Bob Ray. Uh, Ambassador Ray, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate your time and uh, we do send condolences as well to uh, the loss of Brian Mulroney. Well, thank you very much. It's, it, it's, uh, it's good to be with you. I think there's been an extraordinary outpouring over the last several hours since we've learned of the news of Brian's passing. And um, I think as you described it, I mean, his public achievements were extraordinary. But I think the reason <laughs> that so many people are responding is because he, the additional qualities he had as a as a human being. I mean, he was he was a very human person. He had flaws. He, you know, he made mistakes. He he uh, he was not he did not pretend to be perfect. Um, but he was uh, he was very much in the arena and 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 very much uh, caring and listening and and. Touching other people in, in ways that are, you know, quite profound. I, I've talked already to people about the fact that he, at the beginning I didn't really know him, and I was in, in Ontario opposition politics. I knew him a little bit uh, uh, through my brother John, but uh, when my younger brother David passed away in 1989, you know, he reached out and phoned me, which uh, <laughs> was was really touched me, and and that. That led on to um, other conversations. And when I became premier in 1990, he, he was, again, he was the first person to phone me. And uh, very funny. Uh, he said, you know, uh, it, it's going to be a great day for you today. Uh, it'll be the best day you'll ever have. <laughs> it's it's downhill from here. And he was right. <laughs> I mean, in the sense that, you know, the, the, the moments you, you, you see, you, you, talk, you start, everything looks great, and then... As you become more aware of the challenges, it becomes uh, it becomes harder. Uh, but we had a very warm relationship that continued uh, through our private lives, through our families. And I, I'm a, I'm a, uh, he was unwell for many months and and faced many challenges in his health. But he he, uh, he he left a lasting impact on a great on the country and on the world. Um, and uh, I I think he's. Uh, uh, I think I think his passing will make people realize what a what an extraordinary presence he was in our in our lives. A Ambassador, we we see a lot now um, of, of the friction at times between the federal government and provinces. Not in every situation, but in a lot. You you dealt with him in that role. The overlap wasn't long, but you do you did deal with the former prime minister in that way. What what was it like working with him? Well, uh, how long? How long? <laughs> how long have I got? Uh, at the beginning, it was challenging because uh, I felt very strongly uh, that uh, the federal government had made some decisions about cutting back on transfers to Ontario, which were, I thought, harsh and discriminatory. And as you would know, that's exactly those are exactly the words that I used in in talking to him. Uh, and uh, initially, our relationship was not. Uh, warm and fuzzy, although it was very respectful. Uh, but after the first few months, uh, he called me and said, uh, I think it's time we got together. So we invited him up to Harrington Lake and we started talking about uh, the country, about uh, what we needed to do to bring the country together. And when I became Premier, don't forget, it was just after Meech collapsed and uh, support for separatism in Quebec was over 60%. And so he and I shared a, a deep commitment to, to national unity and to really trying to achieve a greater reconciliation with Quebec. And, and, uh, and I insisted that it be brought in to include Indigenous people in our conversation. And he, he shared that view. He said, fine, let's do that. And so we, we, that really was the basis of our relationship for the next uh, two years while he was Prime Minister, was working on uh, Charlottetown, working on uh, rebuilding the economy. Um, but 
you know, we had our differences, uh, but we never allowed those differences to affect our personal relationships. I mean, we, we were never, I mean, occasionally arguments, but we, there was no nastiness there. It was always based on a lot of respect and, and I think in the end, a lot of affection. I had a lot of affection for Brian. I, I, I just thought he was, um, he reached out in important ways and he, and um, I, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it to you. I said, whenever, <laughs> whenever Arlene would sit next to him at dinner, one of our official dinners, I'd have to, de you know, I'd have to kind of really, really go, really remind her of, you know, <laughs> what the political realities between us were. But uh, he was very kind to her. He was very kind to our kids. Uh, our kids used to imitate him on, on the phone when he would phone me. <laughs> Say, Dad, it's Brian calling. But, you know, he was, he, he was, a, he was a very fine man. And, and he helped me a lot. Um, after my career was over, my political career was over, and he always reached out and uh, was was very warm. And I became ambassador to the UN. But I talked to him a lot about some of the challenges we're facing in the world. And uh, you know, it's a story that we're hearing uh, time and time again since his passing. That memory of him being so kind, even after his time in politics was up and their time in politics was up, it was something where he just reached out, made that phone call, as you said, uh, just so genuinely in order to continue those relationships. Uh, Ambassador Ray, thank you so much for joining us and uh, reflecting on your time working with Brian Mulroney as well. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. It's great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Right now, it is 728 here on Breakfast Television. We're heading to break here. We'll have more news, your top stories as well, coming up here on BT. Stay with us.